Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. I hope that you're doing well and welcome to Mini Indie Games Reviews, a place where I'll be reviewing indie games that are short and sweet and straight to the point. Today I'm going to be reviewing the indie game Hymno. Developed by a man named David Morlero Sanchez under his imprint Breakfast Studios and was published by Retallica Games and Grab the Games. By now, you should already know what version I'm rocking with, so let's get into it. As far as the story goes, Hymno has no story, let alone a plot. What you see is what you get. It's seemingly about this warrior going deeper into this bottomless pit of a cave. The pixel visuals of him though is not too harsh on the eyes. The main character, seemingly just a pile of colored squares, stands out in contrast to the rest of the environment. The animation in the character's movement is rather smooth and that little animation where he just barely makes a cliff and climbs up looks kinda cute to me. However, the glowing of the water that lies below in my opinion is probably the most beautiful thing to look at. The majority of the landscape is shrouded in darkness which kinda makes the player traverse half blind. There are no major changes aesthetically or visually in this game as the player progresses. You probably see what may seem to be rain every so often, but for the most part as far as the environments go, it's just these grey center blocks with a little bit of vegetation here and there. And of course, every so often glowing objects and fires add some sort of a change to this mundane appearance, and of course that beautiful water. With this comedy and soothing approach, the music for Hymno sounds very relaxing. The melody that plays while exploring the endless cavern can make a person who's had a rough day take it easy and just zone out for a bit. The music was done by Dan Farley. Links so we can get this OST will be provided in the description below as always. The sound design of Hymno has good quality, hearing a whole lot of footsteps from just moving around and jumping and the times when you obtain whatever is in your path. There are all sounds of pottery breaking coming from, well, pots. And the sound from hearing the water below and at moments where it seems like it's raining can be very soothing to hear. A tad bit too soothing actually. In other words, the sound quality of Hymno is on point. The player has the ability to of course move, jump, a way to glide midair, wall jump and climb through procedurally generated areas. Other than that, I don't even think personally that this game has an overall objective other than to continuously level up. The main character as seen has a sword on his back but the game doesn't even have any enemies that you fight in it. It's just you in this dark endless cave. Now you'll probably be asking the question, if I don't fight, just how do I level up in a game like this? Well you simply level up by constantly moving, jumping, lighting candles and interacting with anything that's shiny. The experience gained from doing these things will always be depicted by this meter here. And that right there is him knowing in a nutshell. There are two particular things to take note of though. The first is that some of these shiny things require the player to be at a certain level in order to acquire them. When you get them, they add additional abilities to help aid you on your infinite and pointless adventure. The second thing to take note of is that if you should whatever reason plunder into the waters located at the base of the cavern, the player restarts the run with the player's level going back to 1, along with the level beginning at 1 again. It's at this point, I would kinda hope that the listener will understand why this adventure is meaningless. This game has no story, no motive, reward, or drive to keep a typical player to want to keep moving forward, other than the players want to reach new levels that will ultimately serve no purpose. But again, I have to reiterate that this game was made to be peaceful and to relax and zone out to while playing. With everything out the way, I'm gonna give him no a 5 to a light 6 out of 10. Reason being is because the presentation of this game looks good, even though mundane, and delivered on what was advertised. I enjoyed and recommend this game to anyone that just need to play something to take their mind off of some things. And lastly, the price of this indie game. Hymno is now available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch for only $5, and it's also available on Steam for Mac and PC for free. This game is good and just pass the time by, however if you're thinking about what platform for getting this on, I would recommend Steam. Not just simply because it's the cheaper option, but because there's an update on this way that is said to transform this game into a somewhat roguelite action platformer with enemies, enhancements, and other bells and whistles added to it. This update would literally change the game into something what looks familiar to us, but mechanic wise would be a whole different game entirely. You may finally be able to put that sword on his back to some good use. But anyway, be safe out there and peace y'all.